Gran Turismo is the latest in video game movies and does something different in its execution, being based off of a true story and is served as a biopic about a kid who is extremely into racing games and racing in general. It's given the opportunity to apply his skills from the game to the real life track to see if it's possible to create a legit racer in that way. And to start off, Archie Medequay is great in his role as the lead. And I didn't know that Jerry Holloway, or better known as Ginger Spice, was in this film. And she served her role well, as well as Jaimon Hansu. And he was amazing in all the scenes that he was in. But David Harbour was the true standout. Once he was introduced into the film, he brings a dynamic presence to the story. Being both dramatic and humorous in everything in between. As the relationships are a big part of the film, you know, alongside the racing. And one of the relationships that carries it is the one between Yan and Jack. And it is entertaining as hell watching it develop. And plus, that's the one that's focused on primarily throughout the film. It's basically the main driving force of it. And there is a romance that happens in the film, but it's given little screen time and it wasn't a major factor in the film, nor did it need to be. It has some legit humor and it wasn't forced, but it is balanced well with its heartfelt and very emotional aspects. And it does really hit with the emotional parts. It has a great and inspiring message with, no pun intended, chasing your dreams no matter what. I love the effects in the movie and how it was used from when he's playing the game to when he's on the track. It has awesome action sequences. All the racing was very immersive with some incredible sound design. It's a fun adrenaline filled thrill ride with some highly intense moments. And it does a really great job of giving us a likable person to champion behind and root for. This film actually puts me in the mind frame of 4 v Ferrari in certain areas. And that too was a great film. But there are some parts that did feel rushed. But not so much that it took away from the film. But it is definitely worth checking out if you can still catch it in theaters. And so with that said, that has been my review for Gran Turismo. I hope you guys liked this. And if you did, go ahead, leave me a like. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the notification bell as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, stay safe, and race after your dreams.